this is my sleep ECG or general monitoring. As you can see, we have a pulse oximetry as well, which is the second number from the top. It's 98 right now, so quite good saturation as I was still up and putting on the electrodes and everything. This is when I was finally asleep. As you can see, my heart rate is about 60. My oxygen saturation is 95. And my respiratory frequency is uh, zero, as it says, because it is just very shallow. But as the oxygen saturation is still good, that is nothing to worry about. I recorded all night sleep with my web camera, by the way. But I will later on also use the compact camera, which will be much better virtual quality. And here you can see that something is going on with my respiratory frequency and heart frequency as well. That is likely because I just turned in bed and the heart needed to supply oxygen for um, the muscles. So the heart rate went up quite a lot as you can see, but it also drops rapidly again, as you can see here. And there I was setting up the digital camera for the recording and you can see that my heart frequency went up quite a lot again That's because I was up But my oxygen saturation is still not as good as before And there I finally managed to lay down, obviously. And there I am asleep, breathing uh, fairly shallow. So the oxygen situation has dropped to 94. That's not a bad thing, but that's definitely lower than when I am awake. And this is a bit with the lowest heart frequency throughout the night. It never really dropped below 55. And that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it.